Hi guys, Kavi from Your Path Hacks here. Today I want to share with you all of the small enhancements I'm adding to the standard RE framework in almost all of the medium to complex use cases, that of the external config file. I'm going to share with you when I'm using it and also show a nice implementation tweak to make using it in an automation as easy and uncomplicated as possible. So when we want to use an external config file, the inconvenience with the standard config file could be in some cases that it is being published together with the whole package. This means that any time we want to modify something in it, we have to republish the package. And yes, I know we could use things like assets and a few other options, but sometimes using an Excel file is the easiest thing to do, especially if you want the end users of the automations to also have access and modify it. In these cases, it could be handy if the config file would not be dependent on publishing the package over and over again. Therefore, the idea of an external config file that is being referenced by the standard one. This ext config file, as we will call it from now on, could reside on a shared folder that groups of users with the right authorizations can access at any time. Here is mine. For this demo, I just uh, saved it on my D drive. It has two settings and two respective values. And we will next look at how reading this external config file was implemented in the framework. And then we will just run the flow to make sure we can access these values. So this is the external config file with the two values. And I have also my config file, the one from the framework, where I'm just referencing here the external config file and its path. So I've just created a new RE framework and then modified the init all settings XAML file. I wanted to avoid using a new dictionary in the framework for the xconfig file data to avoid updating all the workflow arguments in all the required places in the framework. So I just reused the standard in or in this case out config argument. And this one is a dictionary of string and object. What I did is I basically copied the whole for each sheet block over here and I named it read external config file and I updated the path of the external config file here and the rest of the activities are pretty much the same. What this achieves is static variables or the ones which do not change so often can stay in the standard config file, while dynamic or maybe sometimes rollout dependent variables can be stored in the external config file and it can be updated at any time without needing to republish the package. And there is also a nice secondary effect to this implementation that we should be aware of and that could come in handy. In case we have the same setting in both files, it means we have the same name here, setting one in the external config file and in the standard one. What would happen is that the value from the external config file will overwrite the one in the standard config file. This comes from using dictionaries where if a key already exists in the dictionary, its value will be updated rather than create a new key value pair. And as we are reading the external config file after the standard one, all the updates from the external one could overwrite the ones read in the standard one if we have a match on the setting name. We have seen the two settings in the xconfig file and in the process file we just have two log messages where we are logging these values to the output panel. Let's run it.
and here they are the value of the first setting is value 1 and value 2 these are the values we had in the external config file right here and that was it i hope this small re framework tweak will come in handy for some of your next automations if you need to update your config settings a bit more often if you found this video useful please support me with a like and if you want more from where this came from make sure to subscribe to the channel to be informed of future uploads thank you for watching and have a great day